I'm becoming a bit of a pro at not pressing play. Salut les gars and welcome back to my channel. So basically I was living a pretty awesome life in Sydney in Australia and then I decided it was time to spread my wings so I left and flew to Europe. Went on a typical European summer backpacking holiday and then just never left. And now I make videos. So welcome to my channel. So sorry that I have not posted earlier this week. I have had my uni exams all week and, you know, exam period. And I thought I was good at time management, but apparently I'm not. <laughs> so I haven't had time to film anything, but we're here now, so that's great. Today I am just going to be giving you guys some tips on how to learn French. Um, so basically my French journey started off in high school when I was in year seven. French was a compulsory subject. I mean I did it for one term and then the year after I chose to do French again. At that point still I hadn't really discovered my passion for languages so you know I just did the classwork, nothing more. <laughs> and the same with the year after. <laughs> it wasn't until I was in year 10 there was no class and which, me which meant that either I gave up on French or I had to teach myself. Well I chose the teaching myself option which ended up being wonderful because I think it was that year, it was at that time and I mean also the time me moving to France that I improved the most because I think everybody thinks learning a language, ah scary, ah, takes so much time and effort and study and da, 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 da. but honestly if you find the right routine, right method for you then it'll be a breeze. So the first question before you even start learning is you need to ask yourself why do you want to learn French? It's important that you have a reason because if you don't, then on the days where you're like, oh, I can't be bothered, oh, I don't wanna study, good luck tr trying to motivate yourself. I mean, if you're really motivated, then you'll be fine. But yes, I really think it's important just get a notebook or write, a, make a big poster, just put it like on your wall telling you why you wanna learn it in the first place. Leading on from that is setting goals. Whether it be in six months, I want to be able to read this book. In a year, I want to be able to watch French cartoons without subtitles, anything at all. Set goals because then you can kind of make a routine and a schedule to, you know, to be able to help you to achieve these goals. Now, I understand that routine and stuff can be a little, you know, monotonous and boring. But when it comes to a language, practice makes perfect. And practice is very, very, very important and regularly practicing is very important. So, I mean, you could be like, okay, Monday, half an hour, I'm gonna read in French. Thursday, half an hour, I'm gonna watch the French news. Whatever it be, set yourself a schedule. Make sure you're regularly pra pra regular regularly practicing because then you'll see the most improvement. My biggest, 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 biggest tip and I think is one of the most important for really achieving a good level and achieving it the fastest way possible is to immerse yourself in the language and the culture. Whether that be watching Netflix in French, watching the news, reading the newspaper, reading in general, whatever it is. Um, just immerse yourself in the language and just try and surround yourself with French and not just the language but also the culture so you can you know, you can get a better understanding because I think it kind of goes hand in hand, the culture and the language. If you understand the culture, it'll help you better understand the language. And if you understand the language, it'll help you better understand the culture. Obviously, if you're first beginning in French, the language can sound extremely fast and overwhelming, but this is why it's important for you to surround yourself. So then, you know, you get used to it and the gibberish, the fast gibberish will slowly but surely in your brain form sentences and make sense. Trust me on that one. <laughs> and a little side note, I am a bit of a very, very active sleeper. And I remember I used to share a room with my sister one day and one day I woke up and she told me that I'd been sleep talking, but she told me that I was sleep talking in French. And it was at that point I was like, yes, Oh my gosh, finally it's clicked. Okay. Keep pushing and eventually the language will just click. And next thing you know, you'll be a little French pro. I recommend getting a textbook. I think textbooks are good for structure. If you know your level, if you're starting off, I mean, in my previous videos, I mentioned there's the A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, da 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 da. 
the European scale for <clears throat> for measuring language skills. <laughs> so if you get a textbook, obviously uh, textbooks will help you progress in the right order. If you're starting from the beginning, you'll be able to, you know, get good foundations and, you know, know the fundamentals and stuff of grammar and etc, etc. You can find textbooks nearly anywhere. Any bookstore usually, Amazon, Book Depository, anywhere. Using language apps. One of my favorite language apps, also a very, very popular app, is Duolingo. The good thing about Duol Duolingo is free. They do have a paid version, so you can pay if you want. But yeah, you can just use the free version. And again, like textbooks, it goes in in a reasonable order. So you start off with the basics and then you go da 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 da. And if you already have some French knowledge in Duolingo, you can do little tests to skip sections if you already know it. So yeah. And also, one good thing about Duolingo is there's a section where you can set goals. And so it says, okay, I want to do this amount per week and this amount per week. And that again will keep you on track and you can have a streak. Good way, it's a good way to keep yourself motivated. When it comes to expanding your vocabulary, post-it notes are a great way to do this. If you're prepared to, you know, <laughs> cover your house in post-it notes, then I highly recommend doing this. Every time you learn a new word, whether it be covered, you write covered in French, on a post-it note, stick it up on there, and every time you walk past it, you're slowly going to be training your mind to recognize these words, and next thing you know, you're gonna be able to name everything in your house. Another thing, what I used to do when I was learning vocabulary is I used to create lists and put them in like categories, like for example, I said colors, and I'd write all the French colors, and then I would make flashcards manually, which was so time-consuming and killed a lot of trees because I ended up just having a stack like super big and they got a bit annoying eventually. Otherwise there are websites like Quizlet that people have already made a lot of flashcards. You know, you can do it online on your computer. But you can also make your own flashcards. So very useful. Obviously reading, uh, not only just reading books, um, you can read newspapers, you can read articles online, just reading in general. <laughs> I used to start off reading with reading kids books because obviously they're really easy and then slowly I would progress adolescent books and then I, next thing you know I was reading crime fiction and yeah. Also putting your phone in to French. We're all glued to our phone nowadays so even if you're a complete beginner in French you're not going to have very many problems putting your phone into French because I mean, we pretty much know our phones off by heart, so... And again, you're slowly training your brain to recognize these words that you already know. You can watch TV shows and movies. Um, if, you, if you want some uh, some tips and watch TV, so TV series to watch, well, I did make a video of some good French Netflix shows to watch, <laughs> so you can watch it. If you don't know what to watch, I recommend watching I'm just gonna check if this is filming still. Good. You can watch them with English subtitles, but however, I do highly recommend watching them with French subtitles because, especially at the beginning when you're not really understanding what they're saying, if you can read it in French, that'll not only improve your listening skills, but also your reading skills. Of course, listening to French music. I don't really, I'm not really a fan of rap, but um, French raps, pretty good, not really the music, but <laughs> it's good to practice because they speak quite quickly. You can just look up the lyrics online and then next thing you know you'll be rapping in French. There are two of my two of my favorite singers. I can't say they're French singers because they're both Belgian. Angèle and Stromae. They're from Belgium, so they're not French, but however they do sing in French. And honestly, when <laughs> when you can sing in French, not that I can sing at all, when you can sing in another language, Oh, the level of satisfaction is just so high, so high. You feel just so accomplished. Find other French learners. Now, obviously these people aren't gonna be the most reliable when I, you have questions, but uh, la, 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 la. speaking to other French learners, you can keep each other motivated and you can learn together and you know make the whole process more fun and sociable. Sociable? Sociable? And of course, one thing that's probably pretty obvious, 
find native speakers. Now, I know there is Alliance Francaise. Uh, I know there's one in Sydney. I'm pretty sure they have them all around the world, but I know the one at Sydney, they used to host a book club once a month. So we, they used to assign a book, we'd have a month to read it, and then at the end of the month, we'd all go in, we'd sit in a circle and we'd all just discuss the book. We'd ask questions, we'd express our opinions, and it's really great because I remember when I first started going I used to never talk I used to just sit there I was always way too scared to talk and I shouldn't have been because you know it would have been much better if I had just tried but I can understand speaking in a room full of people in a language that you're learning and everyone else kind of everyone else was really good <laughs> just being able to listen to other people you know express their opinions and discuss and have a big discussion, very, very, very helpful. There are also, <laughs> gonna make sure you're very internet safe when it comes to these, but finding a pen pal. I know there are a lot of Facebook groups, there are websites and all of that, but when I was in high school, I did <laughs> meet a pen pal, and yeah, my French level went from here to like here, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was very, very, very good. And even if they're not correcting like every sentence or every little mistake you make, you can just see how they talk and and kind of and kind of learn like even little slangy things, just things that you wouldn't usually learn in a textbook. And then my final tip. <laughs> uh, okay, I promise I'm not a psychopath, but you know you have to channel into your psychopathness here. But have conversations with yourself, <laughs> talking to yourself, mm. and even I mean. Oh my god, I thought my ball was out. I promise I didn't pick my nose. I was just checking my ball. Anyway. <sighs> it stopped filming. Ah. <laughs> I hope I'm in the same position. Anyway, as I was saying, yes. Time for you to become a psychopath and talk to yourself. Ah. Just walk around the house, have conversations with yourself. You would be surprised how much you will improve. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, you can read out loud. That's less psychotic behavior you can record yourself and listen back and play it back um, or that'll just even help grow your confidence in speaking which is obviously very beneficial yes anyway so I think that those are all the tips that I have um, if you have any more tips don't forget to comment down below if you have any questions or any videos that you would like me to film also comment down below let me know I will get back to you and yeah, I think I should be filming before Christmas. <laughs> I hope I'm gonna say Merry Christmas, Joyeux Noël. Anyway, ciao amigos, this bud. I sound like a butter, but that was just my shoe. Um, mum, 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 mum.